Good evening and welcome to Nate Newswatch. First tonight, the future of Edmonton's festival scene may be at risk. With funding issues being a major concern for local companies, could the arts and festival sector in Edmonton be in permanent danger? Our Caleb Namard joins us live in the hallways of Nate. Thanks guys. Listen, if you're a fan of Canada's festival city, you may be feeling a little bit concerned. Why? The future of Edmonton's festivals may be in extreme jeopardy. High costs of operation, the changing environment, and rapid inflation are among some of the reasons behind a recent sharp decline in the Edmonton festival sector's profits. This comes after many already lost thousands, if not millions of dollars after canceling events in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The future of festivals like this in Edmonton may soon be at risk. The city's art sector profits have recently declined due to inflation, changing audiences, and the impact of COVID-19. So with prices going up and um, pressure coming on and the environment shifting at the same time, really every year has been a new year in our presenting environment and that itself just managing the change has been a challenge. Statistics show a nearly 50 percent decline in fiscal success for the arts sector forcing many to shut their doors down or run smaller operations. The Works Art and Design Festival is one of these operations choosing to condense their festival length from 13 days down to five. Yes, in 2024, we have gone to a five-day festival. We're concentrating our format into that long weekend, June 27th to July 1st. And there are a lot of resource reasons for us to do that. But primarily, again, that is the best way for us to do the most for our audience. Struggle in the festival sector is a nationwide concern as the number of active Canadian arts festivals has decreased by 18.5% since 2019. Um, but broadly speaking, outside of the works experience, uh, I'm hearing a lot of venues talk about well, seat sales are lower, uh, subscriptions are not uh, returning the way that they used to. A lot of these habits have been interrupted and they haven't all been carried through. As the impact surrounding the arts continues to evolve and attract a wider audience, concern grows across the industry for its preservation. While the status of many festivals are still hanging in the balance this upcoming spring and summer, most are still optimistic about the future of the festival industry, hoping change and cash are both right around the corner. And Caleb, what are other festivals currently doing to get financial support? Well, they're doing anything they can. The most major festival seeking support is the Fringe Festival. At the moment, the Edmonton Fringe Fest is in a deficit after losing $3 million due to cancellation in 2020. Their approach to recovery is a little bit different. They're asking the community they serve to help out. Executive Director Megan Dart made a public request this week for Fringe supporters to, quote, help save a sizable and ongoing shortfall, asking people to donate $5 a month to their sustained Fringe campaign. What can Edmontonians do to help festivals going in the city? Well, the most needed thing right now is constant and consistent support. With festival season steadily approaching in the spring and in the summer, Rook said that your physical presence at events is one of the best things you can do. Donations are also a huge factor, saying, quote, if every person at the festival gave a toonie, we'd never have to worry about funding. Thanks, Caleb. That's our Caleb J. Namar reporting live from the Nate Hallways.